Hi everyone, my name is Kurt, and today I'm gonna to be walking you through another great TREAD feature. In this product highlight video, we'll be showing you how to create and set up project sites, the geofences around them, associate materials and products to those sites, and then see how easy it is to use these project sites in your dispatching with your drivers. Right now, you can see here, as usual, we're on our dispatch page, and we can see for our date that we're looking at, the project that we have going on, and all the information associated to it. On this project, we're gonna be moving aggregate material to a Lagoon City project. And right now we have two of our drivers already assigned with pickup and drop off locations. And for one of our drivers, we have all the information that we need except for that pickup location. In this video, we'll show you a quick example of how easy and fast it is to create a new site and then associate that to this driver's assignment before sending it out. To create a new site, all you need to do is easily navigate over to our sites tab along the top. Once you're in the Sites tab, you'll see a list of all the project sites that you have relevant to the company that we're working at. Here on this Sites page, you can already see the drop-off site that we have associated to the project that we'll be working, and the pickup site that's already in our system associated with our other drivers. In each case, I can quickly glimpse at what that project is, see the geofence around that project that can be set up in a circle or in a polygon geofence as it's been done here, and all the information associated to that. The location can be dropped in with a street address by placing a pin on the map using longitude latitude or street intersections. With each site, you'll see it can be a drop off, a pickup or both. In this case, this will be our project site. So this is our drop off. The products associated to it with an easy drop down of all the products that you have. And you can easily create custom new products here as well. Here you can see the two sites that we already have set up one of our pickup sites that's being used by two of our drivers in our drop-off site. And now we need to create one more pickup site for our remaining driver. In order to find that site, one of the great features we can use is the ability to layer on additional maps on our tread sites view. What we'll use first is satellite view where I can easily now see the quarries and the project sites in the area. Here's an example of a quarry that we wanna add into our system and we'll use this to set up our new project site right now. Creating a new site is as easy as clicking a button, dropping a pin, and then selecting that we'd like to draw the geofence and capture the exact shape of the perimeter that we'll be using to capture our geofence. In setting up our geofence boundary, this is what we'll use later on to capture when drivers have arrived, entered, and exited the sites. And this can be set up in whatever shape you need to to match the appropriate site. Here, we'll quickly add in a name for our pickup site at this quarry. This will be the Dufferin Ag Quarry in the location of Brecon. We already have our location dropped. Our geofence has already been set up. We'll choose for this demo, a pickup location. We'll add the relevant products that we'd like to have associated to this quarry. And then any relevant site IDs that might be used to search and find this later on. Down below, I can easily add site notes. For instance, use South Entrance and check in on arrival. Once I click add site, that site has now been added to our list and can be used in dispatch until we make that site inactive. By turning off the satellite view, I can now see where all my projects are, my pickup sites, and by clicking into those, I can see the exact geofences associated to these sites that we have set up. On this view of our map, we can use the satellite layer as we've seen to see the project sites, the roads, and an aerial view of the area we'll be managing. You can also use this to see traffic overlays and where there might be areas of congestion that could be impacting your driver's route times. Now, once we jump back into our dispatch page, we have the ability to easily add that site assigned to the driver. In this case, we already have two drivers that have been assigned to a different pickup location for our remaining driver, we'll add in that pickup site from our dropdown, easily found here in this list, and can also be found by searching. Once that site's been added, we can update the assignment, and now it's ready to be sent off. Here I can easily see it's still in draft mode. I'll review all the information to make sure it's correct. And once I have, with the click of one button, I can send that out to any of the drivers that'll be running that job. Hope you've enjoyed this video on setting up project sites, geofences, and adding products. And if there's a feature you'd like to see demoed, please comment below and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.